Hola, me llamo Susan Middleton Elia. Today I'm going to read you La Princesa and the Pea. I wrote it, and Juana Martinez Neal is the illustrator. La Princesa and the Pea. Here's the glossary in the front in case you need to look up some Spanish words. There once was a prince who wanted a wife, but not any niña would do in his life. His madre was picky. She hoped for perfection. The prince was so lonely, in need of affection. But here came a maiden en route to the castle. I hope I can stay here if it's not a hassle. She winked at the prince who fell for her fast. No matter what mom does, I'll marry this lass. The prince said, come in, but his mother, La Reina, decided to test her. Would this girl be buena? Mama sneaked away to the royal hardine and found a small pea that was fit for a queen. She guarded the pea pod and took to the stair. If this girl is worthy, she'll feel that it's there. She placed El Guisante in the bed for their guest. She yelled, Bainte mattresses, lofty request. The queen settled in with her box of bombones, while lots of strong workers came in with colchones. Uno was suave, dos was pequeño, tres was muy grande, cuatro un sueño. Several were pinstriped, some made of fleece, others were dotted or checkered or grease. Veinte colchones. See the guisante way down here. The queen ate her treats, the bed was stacked high, and right when they finished, La Nina came by. Here's your coma, a place you can sleep. Thanks, said the girl, I won't even count sheep. Meanwhile, El Principe practiced I do's. He knew that this maiden was one he should choose. I like her, Mama, he said with a lilt. We'll see, said the queen as she fluffed up his quilt. The girl stretched her brazos and yawned with her boca, but the bed felt so lumpy like there was a roca. The little guisante was 20 times deep. Could it be the reason the girl got no sleep? Where's the guisante? She trudged down to breakfast, her ojo so droopy. And how was your slumber? La reina was snoopy. Great, said the girl, if you like hard and lumpy. Pobrecita, the prince said, you're grumpy. Their guest brightened up when she noticed the lad. Really, she murmured, it wasn't that bad.
I thought La Reina, how'd she detect it? Is she a real princess? I think I suspect it. She signaled her son that the girl passed the test. Drat! She had managed to stave off the rest. The prince soon proposed with a golden anillo. They married that week in the royal castillo. The queen kept her promise and threw a big boda. The bride wore a wedding gown, stylish, de moda. Acepto, acepto, they both said I do. And still to this day, the queen has no clue that the prince had put pitchforks and stones in La Cama to help his true love pass the test of Queen Mama. The prince and his bride had hijos galore, one for each mattress, and then had no more. Elfine, the end. I hope you enjoy La Princesa and the Pea. Adios. Thank you.